Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and this is the HTC One, the flagship Android phone by HTC and we're going to do the benchmarking in this video and also I'll be comparing later on with the Galaxy S4. Let's start with some casual benchmarks. Let's first do the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. I know it's an outdated benchmark. I ran it earlier also and I got a score that's around 60.8 uh, FPS. That's the max. Let's run it again. And the specs on this phone is also, are also very good. Let me just uh, lower the volume a little bit. The speakers are incredible on this HTC One. It comes with a, a 1.7 gigahertz S600 processor. It has Adreno 320 GPU and two gigs of RAM. And as you can see in the Nina Mark, we are almost maxing it out. It's almost every time at uh, 60 FPS. And I also did some gaming with this and as again, as you can see, we got a score of 61 FPS, which is uh, almost uh, the max score that we get can get in this benchmark. And you'll see that it's on the top. So let me get out of this one. And to get the multitasking tray, you have to hit the home button twice. Let's kill this one. I also ran the uh, quadrant benchmark. I'll show you the results later on. Uh, first, let's look at the system information. And as you can see, it's a quad core processor and the maximum frequency is 1728 megahertz and the minimum is 384 it's four cores and has two gigs of ram the gpu as i said is adreno 320 and again htc did not skimp on any sensors it has all the sensors that are needed now let me just quickly show you the benchmark results that i got and these are the benchmark scores that we got for quadrant and as you can see let me maximize it our device got a score of 12009 let me give you a breakup. The total is 12,009 and CPU got a score of 35,403. Memory is 10,990. IO is 10,389. 2D is uh, 1014 and 3D is 2247. Let's also look because this is a very popular benchmark. This is the Samsung Galaxy uh, S4, the Octaco version. So, and the score that we got on this one is 12,863 for the HTC one we got a score of 12,009 so let me put the S3 for on the side and let's also look at the Antutu benchmark and I ran it earlier and we got a score of 23,285 and these are the detailed scores for the Antutu benchmark let's also look at the Antutu benchmark on this uh, Galaxy S4 and we get a score of 28,014 and let's look at the detailed scores here and these are the detailed scores also let's move ahead and uh, now let's look at what do you say the Geekbench score and as you can see it runs the Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, uh, S600 processor clocked at 1.7 gigahertz and I saved the benchmark scores let me show you the same now and we got a score of uh, 2978 and on the S4 I got a score of 3620 and if you know this Nina Mark 2 benchmark is kind of old for now and actually this 3D Mark benchmark is a new benchmark and that's ideal for gaming benchmarking so let's run both of them at the same time on the S4 and the what do you say uh, HTC one I'm going to minimize the volume for this uh, S4 and let's run this iStorm benchmark on both these handsets and these benchmarks can take quite a while but these are ideal for gaming I would say the HTC one started a bit earlier on this benchmark and also this can give you a what do you say difference between the screen quality this has a, what do you say uh, LCD 3 type screen and this is an AMOLED screen and this should give you an idea between the screens also again the audio is coming from the HTC one and as you can see it's pretty loud and it's very clear the stereo effect is really good again this benchmark uh, takes quite a while to finish so I'll just skip this and directly show you the scores now and the benchmarking is done the HTC one finished it slightly faster and as you can see we got a total score of 11,495 for the HTC one and for this uh, uh, Galaxy S4 we got a score of 10,439 
again one thing that i did notice is that while stressing both these phones these both these phones do get a bit hot actually because of the aluminium construction of this htc1 uh, from here till here the entire portion becomes uh, pretty warm when and um, close to hot i would say when you are actually stressing the phone like doing benchmarks on the s4 actually this portion from this uh, what do you say uh, LED flash to the Samsung logo becomes really hot. This portion is not that hot, but again, the screen also on the S4 tends to become a little bit warm. Uh, I also actually had installed this utility uh, which monitors the temperature on the phone on both these phones so that we can get an idea uh, regarding the temperatures. Let me show you. First, let's look at this HTC One. And if you notice, while doing the benchmarks, the temperature was closely touching to around 40 degrees Celsius and on this uh, S4 uh, again it is varying between 30 to uh, 34 degrees Celsius and I felt that the S4 was a little bit uh, cooler while stressing the phone. Both these phones are very powerful phones but we noticed that from the benchmarks in CPU bound test the S4 goes ahead and in GPU bound test the HTC One goes ahead. I'll also be testing the camera. This has a 4 megapixel camera, but the S4 has a 13 megapixel camera, but the one has an ultra pixel camera. So it'll be interesting to see which one does a better job. So stay tuned to my channel. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this video.